Namo Adidafa. Thank you for joining me for our daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The first mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by the destruction of life, I vow to cultivate compassion and learn ways to protect the lives of people, animals, plants, and minerals. I'm determined not to kill, not to let others kill, and not to condone any act of killing in the world, in my thinking, or in my way of life. For Dharma lessons, we've been reading Pure Land Zen, Zen Pure Land, the letters of Patriarch Yin Kuang, and we're continuing uh, with letter two. Finally, while the key to rebirth in the Pure Land is single-mindedness, you as a layman still have your parents and your family. Although you should not unduly seek wealth and honor, you should still fulfill your family obligations. For to cultivate the Dharma, is not to abandon everything. If you could let go of everything and still manage to provide for your parents and families, that would be all to the good. Otherwise, it would be contrary not only to human morality, but also to the Dharma. This is something you should also realize. As a filial son, you should counsel your parents concerning cultivation so that they may practice Buddha recitation and seek rebirth in the Pure Land. If they can practice with faith, they will surely achieve rebirth. Once reborn, they will transcend the mundane and enter sagehood, escape birth and death, join the ocean-wide assembly, be close to Amitabha Buddha, and eventually achieve Buddhahood. Mundane filiality cannot be compared with such an achievement. If anyone were to advise others to cultivate the Pure Land Method, the merits and virtues from such teaching would be entirely his. In the future, he would surely be reborn in the upper lotus grades. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings be at peace. Sadhu. 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 Thank you for joining me today.